I'm Glenn Jacobs, and you're watching the Next News Network. The godless DNC chair Tom Perez now attacking Americans who vote based on faith. Yes, leave it to the leftist nutbags and the DNC to alienate another voting bloc. Ryan Cervada for the Daily Wire reports that the Democrat National Committee chairman Tom Perez complained about voters who are influenced by church leaders. Yes, he actually said this, suggesting Americans are stupid for allowing their religious convictions about abortion to guide their voting choices. He was speaking at Demand Justice, the Court in Crisis, what's next for progressives after the Kavanaugh summit. It was in Washington, D.C. Take a look at this clip. And we all have to make sure that we're fluent in what's happening across our ecosystem so that we can come to each other's defense. Because we need to build a bigger orchestra. They've had a big orchestra for some time. And they've got the megaphones to amplify it. Whether it's Sinclair at a local level, Fox at a national level. I've learned this from the outreach we've done at the DNC. Why are we penetrating, I ask. And I had someone in northwestern Wisconsin tell me, you know what? For most of the people I know, their principal sources of information are Fox News their NRA newsletter, and the pulpit on Sunday. And it should come as a surprise to no one that our message doesn't penetrate. It should come as a surprise to no one that that person has elevated the issue, of course, to the top because that person on the pulpit is saying, ignore everything else that this person has done and is doing. We have to focus on one issue of Roe versus Wade. And people buy it because that's their only source. So as we move forward here, we've got to talk about these substantive ideas, but we've got to talk about a broader communication strategy. We've got to talk about other reforms that are going to enable us to elect Democrats up and down the ticket so that we can actually have the capacity to implement it. You know what blows my mind about that clip? What blows my mind is that he's sitting there, how dare people be single-issue voters? Oh, really? How many single-issue voters are there all across the country? I mean, I remember that, that Joy Behar clip we played for you the other day where she was going after uh, uh, Meghan McCain. She's like, well, if I was a single-issue voter, but he's complaining that Christians are single-issue voters because they vote concerning the abortion issue. Well, something tells me this guy, he hasn't seen the inside of a church in quite a while. Unless he's, of course, campaigning, Right? And then he's got to go and walk into one of these buildings. And most times, churches, they rent out the space. He's not there for a religious service, right? You know, every church I've been in has lived out its convictions. And the person in the pulpit is very careful not to tell their congregations how to vote. And there's a reason for that. That's because you have IRS issues. Okay? Now, I do recall President Trump working to resolve that so that that the churches and the pulpits can tell people, hey, this is a candidate who stands with our position. But sadly, though, we're seeing even mega churches all across the country, even mega churches in my own backyard, we're seeing people in those pulpits having to resign their positions because of behavior that is unbecoming of a pastor leading a flock. But for this guy, Tom Perez, to go ahead and, you know, rag on people because of their faith and because of what they stand for because they get their advice from a church or from the Bible? He just alienated another voting block, Tom. But the other, here's the other thing. He's going to go ahead, he's gonna, he has no problem alienating that group of people. That identity politics, that segment of identity politics, he is so willing to cast aside because he thinks that there's more value and pandering to minorities, pandering to the LBGTQ plus minus community, you know, whatever community that they're currently focused on, but they're willing to cast aside Christians. It doesn't make any sense. But that's why they lose elections. That's why they lose presidencies. So comment below with your thoughts. We'll see you at the next report. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi. 
Before you go, if you're worried about your browser history or your family's browser history getting tracked, you need to take advantage of Black Friday month specials from Virtual Shield at HideWithGary.com. Right now, they are offering 40% off all plans and premium add-ons, even VIP performance plans for as low as $3 a month. You can add another layer of protection with their IdentiSafe program that gives you the ability to block off computer microphone and camera access from any unwanted spies and hackers. Act now. The link is below. HideWithGary.com. Thank you for watching that report. If you want more, subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Next News Network logo right here. You can also watch our latest news reports by clicking here. Or you can get the latest breaking news by clicking here or... The most viral news on the channel, the news that Hillary and Obama hate, right here.